Members of the UK Jewish community gathered to honour Lord Sachs, the Chief Rabbi of the United Hebrew Congregations of the Commonwealth. Lord Sachs has held office since 1991 and will step down later this year. Approximately 3,000 people gathered at the Barbican Centre, Europe's largest multi-arts and conference venue, to attend the event entitled Our Journey with the Chief. We felt that we wanted a major event to give the community an opportunity in their numbers to be able to pay tribute to him. So we developed the idea of a journey with the chief. We've involved some music, but more importantly, we've brought in Sir David Frost, who's going to conduct an interview with the chief rabbi, uh, and that will be the centerpiece of the event. Hello, good evening, everyone. The interview gave Lord Sachs the opportunity to reflect on the last 22 years in which he has held office. So maybe we should make the question, will we have Jewish great-grandchildren? <laughs> What's the future in that sense of Jewishness? I tell you, David, the, the great privilege of these 22 years has been part, being part, a little part, a tiny little part of a, of a Jewish community that really has transformed itself. Our synagogues, which tended to be three days a year or one day a week, have now become seven days a week community centers. We've built more Jewish day schools in the last 22 well, years. Well, that's, that's probably perhaps your greatest achievement, what's happened there. I, I think it's incredible. We've traveled the number of day school places in 20 years. I think he's become, not just in the Jewish community, but in the wider community, probably one of the most, if not the most, respected religious figures in the country. He means so much. His, the ability to make difficult sounding subjects simple. His ability to have the right word for every occasion. His sense of humor. I personally know the many phone calls he makes every week to people who need to be phoned, whether they are sick or they've had, a, or they've had a, something joyous in their life. He, he really works very hard on the personal level, and many people don't know that. And there were musical tributes from the Shabbaton Choir and a variety of Jewish schools, including Wolfson Hillel and the Jewish Free School. I just played at, in one of the biggest concert and most well-known concert halls. Well, the last, first bar, my hands were shaking, I was, my heart was beating so fast. But once you play, it's just, you want to enjoy the moment. What is it in particular about the Chief Rabbi that made tonight so important for you? Well, he's like the head of the, Jew the Jews. In, in not only in England but in all of the Queen's countries and it was just he is well known globally and to think that I was playing a piece that was made for him is just such a great honour and I want to thank everyone who gave me this amazing opportunity. We performed two songs. It was so fun. I realised how fun the choir could be. I felt really happy because it would be nice for him to like see um, something kids singing Hebrew songs before he retires. Rabbi Ephraim Mervis, who also attended the event, will become the 11th chief rabbi in September. Overall, the mood here has been a joyous one, as clearly thousands of people have been touched by Lord Sachs and his work. This is Celestina Olulode for JN1 in London.